So it's okay if you don't want to get married and you don't want to have kids. And a lot of people um, my age, like half of my friends are like married with kids and half of them just don't want that. And they'd rather be like a plant mum or something. But in all seriousness, true marriage is actually the marriage between the masculine and feminine aspects of your soul and your psyche. So it's actually about unifying yourself internally rather than finding the person or, or the being externally. When people say you need to find your soulmate, it's not your soulmate, it's your soul mate. You need to find your soul and you need to spend that time looking for your soul. So if you find yourself like single or in a relationship but feeling like marriage isn't for you because to be honest, it's so pushed on people. Like It's like a programming that society and your family and everyone thinks that you should do and to the point where now like... Um, you almost feel like you have to and you might even think that you want to and then it turns out it wasn't ever your desires it wasn't ever what you wanted it's actually what um, other people are putting on you to want and it's like a spell cast upon you to want that when actually you might not want that um, and so like if you find yourself like single or like you're feeling like you're doing like some soul searching and stuff it's okay to take that time to literally find your own soul and to spend the time doing the inner work because when you unify your masculine and feminine within you literally magnetize and attract everything that you could wish for in your life to you including that soulmate and that soul partner in the physical form if that's what you want but the most important thing is to do it within internally first because if you don't do that then you're always constantly going to be looking outside of yourself trying to find whatever's going to make you feel whole but the reason you don't feel whole is because your soul isn't whole it's not holy when your soul is unified it becomes whole it becomes both masculine and feminine you marry within and then you become whole and holy and so then you complete and fulfill yourself you're married to yourself and then what happens is everything else in your life is just a blessing it's just a choice you don't need these things but you choose to have them because it's enjoyable to spend your time with a partner or you choose to do what you do whatever you want to do because it's enjoyable because that's what you want to do rather than it being because you are emotionally attached to doing that or being that because it makes you feel whole once you learn to fulfill yourself that's where the real true gifts are um, in life so you marry yourself and it's okay if you do want actual marriage as well some people do want that still and that's fine too um, but for me, I kind of see it as like just literally now, like the religions and particularly Christianity, I've not really looked into the other religions and marriage and stuff, but Christianity, like talk about getting married and um, it's like um, pushed as like a thing that God wants you to do and stuff when it's actually just been like basically manipulated and changed into people believing it's an external thing, but it is actually an internal thing. It always was. Christ taught that it was an internal thing. And then basically religions made it into an external thing so that we don't realise that we need to unify ourselves internally and that our souls are divided and polarised and that our souls need to be married and that's the work we need to do. Uh, it's to put us off the path basically and also like why do we need to tell the government and get some documents fully signed that we're married and that's it like if I'm in a relationship like I fully feel like yeah I'm, I'm in that relationship I don't need like physical documents or papers to prove that they're going to stay with me or to prove anything to anyone like for me like the actual getting married now is either just like something that other people want me to do or it's something to just tell the government or it's like some kind of way of trying to like tie someone down into promising they won't leave me or whatever it is like for me that's all it means to me now so I just don't need to do the external marriage and I won't I've married myself within <laughs> but seriously though um yeah it's very very fulfilling indeed and um kids as well like don't think I want them either like I feel like I've got so much to do in life and so much to give myself that it's like if I had kids that would just so stop me from doing it all because I would be having to give all of myself to them for like 18 years until they can do all the stuff that I was planning on doing in terms of helping the world and stuff and if there is like becoming too many people in the world I'd rather not be a part of that problem either so I'm just so happy to live my life and to be honest once you eat well and you um 
get on the spiritual path and you build your tree and stuff you live for hundreds of years anyway so like I'm just so chilling right now and uh, so yeah like having kids and uh, marriage might be for you and it might be what you feel like you're here to do but for me personally like I don't need to give that part of myself to another being um I'm happy to just give it to myself like and um, people make a big deal, like I see like videos on Andrew Tate and I'm not even trying to knock him because there's some stuff that I really agree with what, with what he says. Um, but I do see him like talking about how you should have kids and if you don't have kids your life is just doesn't mean anything and I just don't agree with that at all. It's like, you don't need kids, like, who? why would you need kids? Like seriously, um, fair enough if you want them. And if you've had them, that they bring so much joy to your life that you just like, feels great and stuff. Um, but it's another emotional attachment that if you pass on, like, you need to try and be able to let go of that because it can drag you back to this earth again. Um, and it's just like energy and life force that I would rather like put into myself for now. So <laughs> just sharing, sharing's caring, you know.